The chickens are being so loud. Hey! Hey guys! So, wow, this plant is so tall. <laughs> you can't even see it all on screen. Okay, that's fine, right? Um, today, Today, I am finally going to get around to repotting my Begonia Maculata Whitei, um, which is a little bit too tall for the video. This, for anyone that maybe hasn't been following my channel for a while, is a plant I inherited from my grandmother who passed away this last April very unexpectedly. Um, and I ended up with her begonia. Where do I want to go with this video? I'm not sure what direction I want to go. It's just going to be wherever my heart takes me. So I thought we could do a little old fashioned repot and chat where we repot this big plant. I think it's going to be pretty fun. Maybe I'm going to move that table and put the plant over here so you can see it maybe a little bit better. <laughs> Oh yeah, it's a little better, right? See, it's like a pretty tall plant. Really, I don't think it absolutely needs to be repotted other than it's starting to lean a little bit and it's getting pretty top heavy. My grandma just had it planted in this little basket, which <laughs> it's honestly, it's filling, it's been filling a little bit hard for me to pot it out of this. Oh, fair warning, you guys. I'm not gonna be a ball baby and like, I'm gonna do my best to not be emotional this whole video, but this does feel very emotional to me and that's just the way it is, but we're gonna truck along, we're gonna chat, we're gonna repot it, even though it feels a little bit hard. My grandma planted it into this little basket, which where this is such a big begonia and such a kind of relatively small planter, um, with this kind of material, it, it dries out really quickly. So I do have to water it a lot, which results in this kind of wood stuff. I don't know what material this is, okay? It's like wood um, and it is getting kind of like moldy a little bit. So I just think, I think it's time as hard as it is for me to like move it out of what my grandma initially had it planted in, you know, like, oh my gosh. <laughs> It makes me so happy and also so sad, like, to envision her. The thought of her potting this into this planter, like, makes me feel so... I don't know, it just gives me a lot of emotions. And I just... I'm not certain, obviously, because she's not here to ask her, but I'm sure that she bought this at a yard sale. Okay. I think I needed to do this. I'm sorry, I know this is probably so weird for you guys to like watch, but I just really felt like I had to do this and I really wanted to film a video, um, not just, you know, for my channel, but and for you guys to hang out with together, to do it together, but um, also for myself so that I can like look back. So I can like look back on how this felt for me, I don't know, like as a little reminder, you know, that life's freaking short. Before I hit the record button and realized that I actually was going to do this right now, I did not feel any, I did not feel emotional at all. So I was like, okay, today's the day I can like handle it and I can handle it. We can handle it. Um, but anyway, the thought of my grandma potting this into her little probably yard sale bought basket and then like <laughs> hobbling around to water this plant and like take care of all of her plants because she did have quite a few plants. Um, I'll put a picture of her little garden on screen. My mom actually has, um, <sighs> my mom has a full video of a tour of all of her plants. It also is a really emotional video because it was just like a couple days after it happened, but I do think it's a really good one and <laughs> I do think it's a really cool video, especially if you're someone that enjoys my channel that like I clearly got my love of plants and caring for plants from my mom who got it from her mom. And even though I didn't know my great grandma, I'm sure that my grandma got it from her mom. And I don't know. I just think it's cool. <laughs> I need a coffee. One sec. I'm going to calm down and I'll be back. Okay. I'm back. Um, I'm calmed down. I feel better. 
I feel better, okay? Um, as I was saying, um, whenever I water this, it stays wet because I'm having to water it pretty frequently because the plant, I imagine the roots are pretty substantial in this pot. Obviously, I'm not sure when she potted it into here, so I don't know how long it's been in here, but this mold situation just really, really needs to go. So whether, regardless of whether it like needs to be repotted, it needs to be repotted for this reason. Um, So yeah, I mean, I've probably needed to do this for a little while because like mold is not good, but I've had a really hard time like working up the courage to do it because truthfully, I've never been this nervous for a plant care anything. Um, yeah, this plant just means, this plant just means a lot. <sighs> I burnt my espresso. Ugh. We're good. This plant just means a lot to me. So where I'm excited to not have to worry so much about it like toppling over because yeah, like it leans pretty far. So like one wrong move and this could go over quickly and where it is so tall, I just foresee it snapping really easily, you know? So outside of all of that and like the emotional <laughs> difficulty getting it repotted, um, I did also have a hard time finding a planter I wanted it in. And I ultimately just decided to do something simple, but also very heavy so that I wouldn't have to worry about it toppling over because as these other stems get taller, it's just gonna get heavier and heavier. So I decided to go with this planter, which I recently ordered um, from Etsy. The shop is called Saratoga Style. I believe it was like $58 total for this thing. Um, I do really like that it has quite a big drainage hole. And I think I'm gonna move this plant right there so that I can enjoy it. They enjoy it day to day more. It's been living downstairs for a while because I didn't want my kids to knock it over. And um, I just feel like there's less odds of that in this planter. So that's what we're gonna go with. I have really struggled to get to this point, I'll be honest. And even now that we're sitting here, I'm having a hard time doing it. <laughs> I guess I will put it off a little bit longer and tell you about the substrate I'll be using. So this is the bin of my regular substrate that I mixed in this video. Uh, I did, however, add a six inch pot worth of um, sphagnum moss petals. I want this to be in a very fluffy, airy mix because I don't wanna risk overwatering this plant for obvious reasons, <laughs> especially above any of my other plants. So yeah, I just wanna make sure it's a very moisture grabbing, moisture holding mix. And I think this plant will really flourish with this. I also added a little bit of worm castings. And <laughs> that was dusty. And where I actually don't love or ever use really peat moss as a potting substrate, it is what my grandma potted it in. So anything that like falls out of this as I'm depotting the plant, I'm also going to mix in there as well because why waste it? My grandma spent money on it. And if it's good enough for her, it's good enough for me. So. <laughs> Um, yeah, that's what I'll be using. I just don't want to waste it. Next thing, I also have this piece of, I'm not exactly sure what it is, but it's this plastic like netting stuff. I think it might be for like yard to make like temporary fences maybe. And I'm going to use it to cover the drainage hole to hopefully have less fallout. And now that I'm actually thinking about it, I'm going to go grab some long fiber sphagnum to put on top to further prevent fallout because um, this is a very fine mix. There are chunky aspects to it, but a lot of this would just fall through. So I'm, let me go grab that. So I've got, well, some long fiber soaking, but I just, I'm going to take a little handful and let me see if I can face you down a little bit. And like, okay, obviously I'm gonna have to adjust it, but just to kind of show you, I'm just gonna put a handful of this over top like that and then fill it in. I think I feel ready. Sad a little bit, bittersweet, I guess, but ready. I just can't believe it's been this long. Mm. Oh, um, other thing, I'll also be adding some mosqui mosquito, <laughs> mosquito bits into the mix because I have been noticing some fungus gnats flying around this planter specifically. I just think I'm gonna add a little bit more because this clearly is like an issue plant for them in my house. You know, the more mosquito bits, the merrier. Is that the saying? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, it's definitely not the saying, so I do know. 
I think I'm just trying to make small talk. <laughs> I thought I would just give you some little life updates. It's weird because I've been on YouTube for so long and I feel like I've kept y'all in the loop pretty well until this last probably year or so. And you know, things are good. I'm in, a, I'm in very much a better place right now than I have been probably the last since Rai was born, honestly. Since Rai was born, I've been having kind of a hard time, not really for any particular reason. I am doing much, much better. I've kind of struggled this past year, especially since, probably since Axel died is when it really started to get bad, bad. I've been very fortunate my whole life to not lose very many people, just a couple, and nobody I was closer to than probably my grandma. I mean, I literally lived from fourth grade until I moved out to live with Ryan. Um, I lived next door to my grandparents, so they were like second parents to me. I think a big reason I've struggled with this loss in particular is I was with them. I saw them, talked to them literally every single day growing up. And then as I've gotten older, especially through COVID and then having the two babies, I just didn't see them as much. I really hope this is okay for me to be expressing to you guys and it like isn't too much. It isn't like oversharing. I just, I don't know, it's kind of cathartic to let it out. And obviously I don't wish anybody to understand because then it means that you've experienced a similar loss or like a loss period, but it like is also kind of nice to have to know people understand. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, I was very lucky to grow up next to my grandparents. So we were really close and I don't know, it just, this one really hit me hard, you know? And then it was like, once my grandma passed, literally my entire personality left. And I felt like, I don't, I don't know the exact words to describe it accurately, but the best way I can is that everything felt fake almost. Like everything about everything felt fake to me. Like, <sighs> <laughs> That's the only way I could say it, but but I am in a much better place now and I I hope I, I do think you guys have been able to see that in my recent uploads um, I've felt much more like motivated and um, Excited about things again and like there is a point, you know to everything <laughs> So this is not very root bound, but I am just going to break it up like a tiny bit not too much though, just kind of scrape the surface so that instead of a smooth root ball, it's just a little bit like crumbly looking. And I definitely don't want to break up like too many of the roots. We're, we're taking this very carefully. Plants are usually pretty good about bouncing back from root breakage. Like normally I tear root balls apart when I repot them, but <clears throat> in this case where it's maybe not entirely ready for a repot, I'm just going to be extra gentle. But yeah, anyway, last night, let me tell you, I went to a music festival and saw Matt Mason. Oh, you know what? You know how I knew my personality was coming back because I started to like enjoy music again. <laughs> Isn't that so random? I was supposed to go to the Lumineers last week and I ended up getting sick and could not go, which was unfortunate. But then this week I was able to see Matt Mason who was probably my favorite, well, probably my second favorite singer next to Josh Groban, but like my current favorite, the one I'm listening, rude. The one I'm listening to the most right now. Um, okay, maybe that's all I'm gonna break it up. I am going to the gym and working out and like trying to do fun stuff more often. And I don't know, it just, it feels good to be back to myself. Well, kind of. Well, kind of back to myself anyway. Yeah, I don't know where I'm really going with this. Yeah, I'm just gonna mix that, that peat moss I'm removing in with the rest of the substrate. And I do think I need to fill this up a little more because the root ball's a little smaller than I thought for some reason. My brain ain't brain in today, let me tell you that. Wow, this is something I've really, really been putting off. So it feels kind of nice that I'm doing it. <sighs> I just love this plant. I like really, really love it. And I even love the planter it's in. I wish I could keep it in there, but yeah, the mold, there's no way. Um, but you know what I love about this plant? I love knowing that like my grandma took the time to like water it and stuff and that she thought it was pretty. Clearly she thought it was pretty and that's why she had it. Man, this planter is really tall. Maybe this is a little bit of overkill for the size of plant. That's okay though because it'll be able to stay in here for a long time and I won't have to stress about doing this again for a while. 
Okay, this is very much like an up pot where it is so much deeper than it needs to be. Um, so usually you don't wanna up pot too much because it increases the risk of um, root rot because the substrate stays a lot wetter for longer. But I'm not worried about that with this mix because I actually made this mix with like being an overwaterer in mind to help combat a lot of those issues because I am very much an over carer for my plants. Um, so I added a lot of like really chunky, well draining things into this so that I can water it a little bit too frequently <laughs> and it'll just drain through and also allow pockets of air down by the roots, which is really what you need to keep the rot away. I wish he would shut up, I really do. I love him, he's like a cute little guy, but I really wish he would shut up right now. My rooster. The thing that causes root rot is actually when the bacteria down in the substrate and the roots have to compete for oxygen um, and there's not enough oxygen to go around. Yeah, the more air pockets you can get into there, the better. And that's really what it all comes down to. Oh, this feels so good to finally have like out of the way almost. Wow, this is really leaning in here. Okay. I'm gonna like use up the very last of my potting mix. I think Ryan and Kai are home. Oh, it looks so nice. I don't know if my grandma would love this planter, but I sure do. I sure do. I feel so much less stressed that I'm gonna kill the plant now. I really do. <laughs> And this is all it took. <laughs> Hi, buddy. Do you like it? That's how we just it went, does, huh? We just went golfing and played off on the playground. You went golfing and played on the playground? Wow. You do? You think it looks good? Yeah. I think so, too. What park did you go to? The one over by the motorcycle track. The cool one? Yeah, is it cool? Yeah, that with the zip line? Okay, yeah. that used up the last of my soil. That was perfect. I was really nervous to do this one, but I feel so much better. Good. Awesome. I kind of think I want it to live right there. Yeah. Do you think that's okay? Are you worried about how much it's tilting? No. I mean, I was in that one because I thought it would tip over, yeah. but in this one, that's why I got a heavy one so it wouldn't. Oh, okay. Right? It's repotted. Um, now I need to find a saucer. This is not probably my forever saucer for this. I'm gonna have to find a better one, like when I'm thrifting, but this is all I have that'll fit it. So I'm gonna use this and I think it's gonna live over here. Cute, cute. Wow, it is leaning a lot. That's really cute. Yeah, that looks so much better and so much less like it's gonna tip over. I don't know why I put it off for so long. Wow, look at how big these new leaves are compared to the rest of them. Which one's the new one? These, these ones. Wow, they are big. And I mean that one up there too. Honestly, I don't know why I was stressing about that so much because it looks really good and that was so easy, but I really put that off even though it needed to be done. So that's it. That's it for this repotting. Thank you so much for hanging out with me while I repotted my grandma's plant. This was really fun and nice and I feel so relieved that it's over with. That's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye!